Welcome all to another Average Shaman video. Today we are looking at the Venfear Druid. Uh, I've done a, I think I've done one video before mainly theorising this and I'm, this is pretty much going into practice. Uh, Going to be a bit of a quick one guys because uh, you know uh, today hopefully you know my son is at his nan's so I've got a couple of hours to just do some videos that I've been meaning to do all week. Uh, so I do apologise if you guys have been waiting for some of my content and hopefully some of you have and you like it and you like the sound of my Darwin-ish Lancashire vibe. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we'll keep you long. Right, Venfear Druids. My God, these guys pump in DPS. Please, people, please, if you even main... Uh, a druid tank or you are like me and it's an, your first alt by first alt i mean you've got your main your first alt you know get the covenant venfear leveled up right so uh ravenous time we're looking we're just gonna go straight into the, the second legendary this is obviously time gated but still this is where it's going to shine ravenous frenzy is applied its duration is increased by 0.1 second additionally ravenous frenzy lingers and will now not overcome you for three seconds after it ends uh that's it's okay, but it's mainly the ravenous frenzy uptime that we want. I think after a couple of testing, it, I usually get about nine seconds, give or take. Uh, no, about five seconds extra sometimes. But right, the two set bonus casting bar skin causes you to berserk for four seconds. That's okay. That means every time you bar skin, you can lob out some frashes to generate that shield, especially in mythic plus, which is nice. And with the reduced bar skin, it's every 30 seconds, so you can't complain. It's the four set bonus, however, where Venfear Druids are going to come into a whole category of their own people. And that is, while Berserk, slash Incarnated, causes you to Berserk, no, ca causes you to radiate 1,302 cosmic damage to nearby enemies and heal yourself for 1,426 every second. People! There's, there's such thing as the, the god bear build at the minute. Like, you are... This is the Omega build. You will not be able to die in your incarnation windows. I, I challenge... There is going to be some dirty pulls. Dirty, dirty, dirty pulls with these bears. Especially once they've got the four set. Guys, for the love of God, you are unkillable. Right, so with, with, with Fresh anyway and the Legendary, you're going to be putting a, an Absorb Shield on you. That's good. Uh, you know, whilst you're in Incarnation, uh, your, your Mangle hits up to three targets, which is alright, because you're just going to be thrashing. Increases your maximum health by 30%, which is nice. Druids like health. Uh, you know, that in itself doesn't... You know, it's okay. But, Ravenous Frenzy. This is what you're going to... You're going to be like this. Incarnation, Ravenous Frenzy. Peas in a pod. Besties. BFFs. Lovers forever. Not Starcross not Starcross lovers like Romeo and Juliet. These guys are gonna go the distance. They're married for ninety years. Yes, ninety years. They're gonna live until the hundred and thirty or something. Right. So for twenty seconds, druid spells you cast increase your damage and healing by two percent and haste by one percent stacking. Oh my god. Right. The maths people. The maths is going crazy. There's like somewhere there there's like Oh, I don't know, like Goodwill Hunting on, the, on his board, chalkboard, just going like this, going absolutely mental with it. He's working it out. But it gets even better. If you spend two sex idle, the frenzy overcomes you, consuming 1% of your health. That doesn't really matter anymore. We can sort of ignore that. That's eh, eh. But, all right, so I'm going to damage these, right? I am not going to use bar skin, by the way. I'm not. Uh, I, you, normally you would, but I just want to see the Ravenous Frenzy. I do have... Uh, this conduit at 265, which I, I, I will not have. I just did it because I got a bit greedy and I wanted the, the, haste, the haste. So the haste really it, it is good, but it's mainly the crit. Watch the crit. Uh, are you ready? Right, okay. Doc. I am just going to go straight into it, so bear with me. Uh, and that's uh, F and R. And here we go. Here we go. Alright, the haste is up to 70%, the crit's up to 33 right now. Alright, we are just spamming these off. Spam, 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 spam. It's up to 80, 80, going up to 90%. Look at the crit. Look at the crit, guys. It's going, it's going mad. Like, the haste is also mad. But the crit and the damage, the damage. Oh, my God. 
We got up to 31 stacks. We are still going. We are still in. And there we go. Ravenous Frenzy's off, but the the uh, the incarnation's still on. And then we are going to run over here uh, because everything's dead. You know, everything's dead. This is going to trickle down, but usually it would stop. It, it would have stopped at the 30 from 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 that. Say everything's dead. Everything stops like at the 30. But this is just going to trickle down. Is it going to trickle down a bit more? I think it probably is. And no, it goes straight to that. So we'll, we will click on that. 27k. 308k with Architects and uh, Aligner. Every three minutes you are doing that damage. That is disgustingly good. Now. I will just show you. I will just. I will just. Uh, I'll swipe these, and then I'm gonna use my thingy. Right. This is the damage purely from my bar skin. I'm not damaging them, so that's just passive damage right there. Arch 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 Architect Elena doing 29k. That's gonna be. You're gonna be doing 29k every 30 seconds. Well, and then you're gonna be doing thrashes and whatnot. But do, do you see what I mean? The damage buildup of the Venfia Druid is just gonna be insane. And it, do I have it? have it? Have I made it? And I have, right. Legacy of the Sleeper. Incarnation Guardian and uh, and Ursot grants 25 imp increased damage, 15% leak, and immunity to uh, loss of character effects. I, I don't know, right. This is where I'm a bit like, well, you know, this is going to be the go-to in Mythic Plus because it's just going to be so sexy. But then at the same time, for them damage encounters where you can just mess about, the damage this is going to deal because it, you know, it's just incarnate twenty five percent extra damage on top of the damage you're already doing, and the cooldown is reduced by thirty per thirty seconds. Ooh, two minute thirty cooldown, guys, 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 guys. I mean, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait the twenty three seconds because I'm just gonna I'm gonna cheekily swap it. Uh, just because to give you a bit of an insight, I do think some dungeon. I, I'm going to make this on my druid. I am going to definitely make this on my druid with the haste versatility, uh, because I think in certain dungeons it's just going to be for them big or incarnation windows. It, it, I, I think it's going to be good. I, I think it's really, really going to be good. Uh, I don't know if it's going to overtake the Ursox Fear Remembered as the top legendary mythic plus, but I. I don't know, like, I, I think you can get some dirty DPS here, especially if you want to, like, I don't know, say, say you're log farming, you know, you, you're going to do some dirty damage, right? I'm going to keep this up, and I'm going to do another incarnation window. So, FI, and then we're just going to keep swiping. Uh, we're no longer getting the shield here, bear in mind, but the, the thing that you're swapping is, in these big pools, is, if you, especially if your healer can keep up, you are getting the extra healing. But it's just the the extra damage output that technically, mathematically, you should be able to do. Uh, so, you know, it's one of them. Uh, roughly enough, we we did we did less. Uh, we did less. I think it's because uh, with the other legendary, I'm sure it allows. Uh, yeah, fifteen percent chance to trigger an additional thrash. That's where the extra damage is coming from. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, it's just what I mean. Like, the other legendary did more damage, but I was a bit a hype between this. I still think this has something to it uh, because of the leech that you get. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll keep an eye. But, th that's it. That's done. I, I'm done, like, slavering over the Venfia Druid. Please, 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 if you are a, if you are a Druid and you're a tank, have a look at the Venvia build. Have a look. Have a bit of a play about it. Because as Druids, we're quite versatile in the Covenants we can be. So th this one's very promising. Especially for the big Mephit Plus. Uh, again, thank you for all the recent subscribers. It does mean a lot, guys. Big confidence boost. Uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, my details for my other platform are in the description below. Uh, so yeah, hope to see you there. If not, and you just came in to have a quick check on this video, that's absolutely fine. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as for now, again, thank you for watching. Average Shaman, out.